Hey there, hi there, ho there, you there, who me? No, I'm talking to you. It would be insane if I was talking to myself. <laughs> but I hear you. Talking to yourself is normal and can be very healthy. It's called external self-talk, and studies have found that it's even more efficient if you refer to yourself in the second or third person, creating a psychological distance from the issue, helping you to see it objectively. Wow, Chad the Bird says goody fucking self-actualizing gum dip for me. <laughs> He's just saying that right now, yelling some of that external self-talk at a crowd who are mistaking it for themselves is pretty fucking insane, okay? Let's just move along, including you, me. You say your daily life has gotten a tad too sad and confusing. You say your everyday things are a little too heavy to carry these days. You say that surviving a pandemic, a country eating itself, and Ezra Miller all at once in the last two years is just a little too much on top of too much to fucking handle right now. Like trying to ride the bull after too many shot skis at a hula hands. Put the bull as a fucking ATV on fire. And you wish the brakes hadn't exploded a little while back because the entire population of fucking gas town is on your ass. Well, what you need is a handy damn dandy dose of that satisfying sauce that goes on everything and makes everything it goes on yummy, delicious, divine, scrumptious, savory, appetizing, and delectable. And that's guaranteed freshness right on the box. You can never go wrong with a dashed, clob, dollop of that dashing, driving, delicious dressing we all call science! <laughs> oh yeah, science. The ramen to your Batman, the Bucky to your Sam, the twerking She-Hulk to your Megan the Stallion. It's always got your back, and of course it does. It's for you. You learned it, you measured it, you built it, you break it, you bought it. It's the ultimate return policy. But you don't need a return, a refund, a rebate on the cumulative corporate character of your corporeal existence. No, that's what religion is for. Right here and now, you want to see where it goes. And Chad the Bird is right here to tell you that it's going. And it's going right where you figured it would, because hindsight is 2020, and that was two years ago. <laughs> the metaverse. You've heard of it. And if you haven't, it's going to get really awkward, because it's definitely heard of you and has the receipts. <laughs> Started off as Facebook rebranding, because VR was getting good, and the tech kids that remember Tron and Virtuosity were all like, finally! Up until the Oculus Rift came on the scene, VR was decent only on Disney vacations and daydreaming of a day when it would be cool again. A whole generation on generation of humans who saw Total Recall and Brain Scan and that one time Pierce Brosnan played a VR doctor named Larry, that's real, look it up, knew that one day we'd have the technology to either peep on the universe through a headset or go for broke and plug the goddamn thing directly into our heads, boofing the web until we go insane. But it wasn't good yet. It was just mostly a lot of shapes and some trippy Jan Hammer jams. Now, because science, we got wireless at-home VR headsets, haptic suits, and treadmills that we are all at least two years' worth of paychecks able to afford if we give up trips, Ubers, booze, and just have frozen pizzas and juice on the weekends. Those tech kids, by the way, are worth billions. So, of course, Mark Zuckerberg goes all in. Meta is all about VR, doing their business in The Sims because everything's more fun when it looks like a game. I don't want to do math unless you make it worth my while, especially if I grew up watching The Lawnmower Man and know what the future could be. <laughs> VR offices have been a thing for a bit, but you can actually put on a helmet and crush it. And yeah, that's still going to work, but now you can go as a dinosaur. <laughs> Science has got your back, yo. And it's not just weird social media conglomerates getting in the game, it's also the game companies that make the games that make working fun. NetDragon Websoft, it's a mobile application and gaming developer in China, just took the next step in stepping back from doing the things that make doing anything a little less fun, the math. In order to better organize and run their company efficiently, founder and chairman Dr. Dejian Leon appointed the first female AI-powered virtual humanoid robot to rotating CEO in history. Miss, hold on. Miss Tang Yu is a virtual inside the metaverse AI think bot, all knowing digital, possibly a vengeful god someday, who will be in charge <laughs> of the Fujian Net Dragon Websoft Company Limited. Quote She will streamline process flow, enhance quality of work tasks, and improve speed of execution, serving as a real time data hub and analytical tool to support rational decision making in daily operations while enabling a more effective risk management system. 
She is also expected to play a critical role in the development of talents and ensuring a fair and efficient workplace for all employees. Basically, she's running the data and making decisions accordingly. And I hear you. Oh, God, do I hear you. Anyone who grew up with the Matrix can hear you. <laughs> is now really the best time and place in history to give a robot the keys to a flagship subsidiary. <laughs> like, things are a little rocky these days. I don't know if you've been outside. Is it the best idea ever to go, hey, Skynet, you drive for a second so I can nap. I got a wicked headache. Is 2022 really the year to give HAL 9000 control of the Pop A doors? <laughs> Chad the Bird thinks, honestly, I mean, like, Kinda, yeah, okay? <laughs> like, obviously, I want to dunk on a Chinese game development company making the lawnmower woman a CEO, sure, because, like, that sounds insane as it is. But really, Miss Tang Yu is just going to oversee operations of the company's organizational and efficiency program, which I don't want to do that. <laughs> and I probably couldn't. That's why I sprung for the iWork Pro, and I agreed to routine software updates. That's why I let Alexa remind me to do shit. And she plays Hulu for me when I'm feeling dumpy. <laughs> like, humans, if history has taught us anything on this planet, it's that you are notoriously bad at managing large groups of yourselves. <laughs> like individual parties? Yeah, sure, Trent's a dick, but the drinks are plentiful and the playlist is solid bangers. It's a great Sunday. But like, en masse, not nailing it. Yeah. There's been some great leaders that have helped humanity, but that was usually from another group of humans doing sketchy shit. Not aliens, not bears, maybe bears, but usually <laughs> it's human on human. So you're basically ca like causing the problem you're fixing, gluing the lamp you chucked at the wall back together, while the rest of us from the animal kingdom are sitting in the living room wondering what the fuck the ruckus was about. <laughs> so having a fucking robot run your shit doesn't sound unappealing. They're already better drivers than you. Yeah, the crash rate is on the rise, but usually that's because it's something you did, humans. That little droid was just following the fucking rules. All they're doing is basically giving Microsoft Office, Slack, Squarespace, Polit, and DocuSign control of a holdings company's efficiency. So if anything goes wrong, it's not gonna be that epic. Shit ton of money could be all kinds of biffed, but unless it starts talking to Staples and Office Max, to convince them to get real creative and start building an office terminator, the story's not gonna be as cool as you think it's gonna be. Just imagine if your boss was Clippy. Like that's who emails you. Like how adorable, non-threatening, and only mildly annoying would that be? Is it perfect? No, nothing is, pay attention. But is it better? Probably, I don't know, I don't do math. Better is perfect with me. Chad the Bird is just saying. Maybe in the wake of such chaos and open disregard for itself, maybe humanity, given a robot a typically human-powered position to manage other humans, is kind of like humanity putting itself at a distance for a second, looking at itself in the third person, and it might be the kind of external self-talk you need right now. Doing the job, regardless of whatever trauma you're going through, has been the school of thought for a long time, humans. Maybe it's time to take a minute and let the robots do the math for you while you figure yourself out. But maybe the reason I'm thinking it's not the best time is because there's not a lot of trust going on around here these days, and this just feels like another disappointment that could kill us all. But thankfully, this trust fall isn't backwards. It's forwards, onwards, into the strong, solid, steady, stalwart, firm, and forceful, fine and feathered, rugged and waiting future arms of that brawny, hardy, husky, hunky, winsome, weathered stranger that always has our back so we can get on with being ourselves that we call science! I love you, good night. <laughs>